Once upon a time, woven into the very fabric of biblical tales, we discover the celestial envoys of the divine angels. These heavenly messengers are not only tasked with delivering God's word, but also with taking care of God's people, offering aid to all who inherit the blessing of salvation. It's written that legions upon legions of beings exist, a number too vast for us to comprehend as stated in Hebrews 12.22. Despite such multitudes, few among them are recognized by name. Addressing a common misconception, let's be clear angels are not spirits of those passed on but unique creations of God, predating humanity itself. They are a different class of being altogether, a notion reinforced by Psalms 8.5, where it states that humans were created a notch below celestial entities. These divine beings are eternal, choosing not to engage in earthly rituals like marriage as seen in Matthew 22:30. Throughout pivotal moments in biblical history, angels have made their presence felt. For instance, following the original sin, angels guarded the gates of Eden, preventing the return of Adam and Eve, as chronicled in Genesis 3:24. Among this righteous throng, four angels stand out, as noted in the scriptures, including both fallen and loyal servants of the Almighty. We turn our attention first to the intriguing tale of Lucifer. In Isaiah 14, 12, we learn of his downfall from heavenly grace driven by his own pride and ambition to outshine his creator. His story serves as a cautionary tale against hubris. On the flip side, we have Michael the Archangel, a mighty warrior and protector, often appearing when a battle is afoot. As depicted in the prophetic book of Daniel and the apocalyptic visions of Revelation, Michael is a force to be reckoned with, eternally vigilant over those under his care. Then there's Gabriel, renowned for bringing tidings of great joy and hope. From revealing the imminent birth of John the Baptist to Zechariah, to announcing to Mary her role as the mother of Jesus, Gabriel's appearance as signal pivotal messages from the heavens. Lastly, the mysterious Abaddon or Apollyon emerges from the shadows of Revelation. This enigmatic angel presides over the abyss, lord of a realm of locusts destined to play a part in end times prophecies. It's a title that evokes destruction, quite the contrast from the benevolent roles of his better known counterparts. These four, each with their own significance and narrative, embody the diversity and complexity of God's heavenly host. As we delve into their stories, we gain not only insight into their divine purposes, but also a deeper understanding of the spiritual realm that surrounds us. Michael's tale unfolds as a saga of cosmic conflict. He is more than just an angel. He is a symbol of divine might standing at the forefront of the celestial legion. Whenever darkness rises, Michael steps forth to uphold justice and righteousness. The scriptures, especially in Revelation, recount an epic battle where Michael and his angels clash against the rebel Lucifer, now the dragon. This fierce confrontation expels the fallen one from heaven, illustrating that pride has a price. Even Daniel's prayers, hindered by the Prince of Persia, find swift passage with Michael's intervention, showcasing his role as a celestial defender. Gabriel the Herald embodies hope and revelation. Unlike the warrior Michael, Gabriel's appearances are peaceful missions, bringing Zechariah news of a son who would pave the way for the Messiah, and reassuring Mary of her blessed role in divine plans, Gabriel acts as the bearer of life-changing announcements. While often depicted in art and culture as delicate, the reality is far different. The awe his presence inspires is a testament to his formidable nature, a messenger of God not to be taken lightly. Turning to the lesser known yet equally potent, Abaddon, also known as Apollyon, this enigmatic figure commands a realm few dare to comprehend. While his dominion and locust army are set for end time events, his exact role remains shrouded in mystery. Ephesians 6 12 hints at the hierarchy within the spiritual realm, of which Abaddon is likely a commanding presence a destroyer waiting for the final act of the world stage. These angels, though varied in task and temper, showcase the vast expanse of roles within the celestial hierarchy. They remind us that the universe is both vast and intricate, with purposes woven by the divine that often go beyond our understanding. As we look to these angels, let us reflect upon the unseen forces, both nurturing and formidable, that guide, protect, and influence the tide of human and divine history.